So last time we looked around for places to draw. I found a lot of ideas, but I ended up settling on these ferns because I like the way the fiddleheads curving on the end look. Today we're going to gather our materials and go outside. First, we need something to draw on. This is my easel that I like to use outside. But you don't have to have an easel because something like a clipboard or a hard covered book works really well as something to put your paper on when you draw. Make sure you have your pencil, eraser, your paper. Um, just for fun, I'm showing you my watercolors. These are special for going outside and traveling. They're smaller. Um, these are my tiny ones. You can see how tiny they are. They fit right in your pocket so that when you're out and about, you could pull them out if you see something beautiful and paint right where you are. Now these ferns are a little complicated. They've got a lot of leaves. So I'm going to start with the stems. Um, I was looking at the stems of the fiddleheads and how they curve at the top. So that's what I will draw first, very lightly. And then I will start with color after that. Looking closely at each stem has um, like smaller branches that come off and then lots of little leaves. Um, it's a little overwhelming, that's a lot of leaves, so I'll simplify by just doing one fern at a time. And I'm looking at these different beautiful greens. You see light green, dark green. So for each fern, I'm putting on the little branches first and then I'll find the color that is the right green for those leaves and I'll put the leaves on. And that makes this a little bit easier for me if I just do um, each little frond one at a time. Now you might have found something similar to draw or you might be drawing something very different. Um, but your process is the same. You can do a contour line drawing or you can break it down and draw it or paint it um, the way that you see here. But how would you make your plan? Which part do you draw first and then which part would you draw next to make it easy for yourself? Here's another trick. The reason I chose to use my brush and paint instead of a pencil for this part is because there's so many leaves. Um, you can actually use your brush like a little stamp to put leaves on if you have something with leaves in it. Remember, you have artistic license, so you can draw things exactly the way you see them, or you can use your artistic license to change what you see. Um, in my picture, I'm exaggerating the different colored greens to make it easier to see each separate fern. Otherwise, I think it would look like one big mass of green. You could also use your imagination to add things or change things in your picture. I was thinking, what would happen if 
I actually had some leaping fish because these fiddleheads also remind me a little bit of waves. So I put some tracing paper over this. I just wanted to see what it might look like if I added some jumping koi fish into my picture, jumping over these fern waves. Are you gonna add something that is totally different from what's there and use your artistic license? Or are you someone who would rather just do what's right in front of you? You're the artist and you decide.